If you are on a word diet, let me recommend some word salad from Kamala Harris. She really breaks out the Caesar dressing for this one. It's important to, to, to see that, you know, the nature of democracy, there's a duality to it. It has two sides to it. On the one hand, mm. there's incredible strength, yeah. right? That when a democracy is intact, what it does for its people in terms of the strength mm. it gives yeah, its sure. people and protects mm. in terms of individual freedoms and rights, right, and liberties, there's mm. an incredible strength right. in that, yeah. what it does yeah. for its people when it so is intact. Oh. On the other Both hand, hands. democracy... Oh extraordinarily fragile yeah so it's fragile. only as so strong, strong as our willingness to fight so for it. fragile that's um, by nature oh, what a democracy so is meaningful. it is about the people oh, that's what a democracy is it's like a woman strong but fragile delicate but wonderful oh everyone is gonna vote for joe biden you understand he's probably gonna die in office right y'all get this right that dude on his last legs. I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't mean to shatter your bubble about Joe Biden's longevity. That dude is not looking great. And his backup is this. Do you owe back taxes or still have unfiled returns? Not only is owing back taxes stressful, but the IRS has also become more determined than ever to come after you. The IRS's chief data and analytics officer revealed they are focused on an enforcement project with an average return on investment of about six bucks for every $1 spent. They're targeting individuals and businesses that currently owe back taxes or haven't filed their returns first. Tax Network USA, the nation's leading tax relief firm, knows the tax code they will fight for you. With a record of negotiating over $1 billion in tax relief for their clients, their team is knowledgeable in handling any type of tax issue. Whether you owe 10 grand or $10 million, they can help. Even if you don't have all your personal or business records from over the years, they can get you filed up to date. Facing the IRS without a professional, not a smart move. Contact Tax Network USA for the best strategic advice to help reduce or even eliminate your tax debt. Call today, 1-800-245-6000, or visit their website at tnusa.com slash Shapiro. They'll give you a free private consultation on how you can settle your tax debt today. That's tnusa.com slash Shapiro, tnusa.com slash Shapiro. Larry Summers, who is the former Treasury Secretary under Bill Clinton, former president of Harvard University, before he was ousted for political incorrectness, he had previously predicted that there would be a massive inflationary cycle after 2020, 2020. People laughed at him because we hadn't had a massive inflationary cycle in the United States for 40 years. He was right. Here he was yesterday explaining that a rate cut in June would be a really dangerous move at this point. You have to take seriously the possibility that the next rate move will be upwards rather than uh, downwards. And anything could happen. Markets could crash. The indicators could turn down. But on current facts, a rate cut in June, it seems to me, would be a dangerous and egregious error comparable to the errors the Fed was making in the summer of 2021 when it just didn't get the thread on inflation. Okay, well, that is becoming conventional wisdom, what Larry Summers is saying right there, according to CNN. Fed Governor Michelle Bowman said last week she's even willing to consider raising rates should progress on inflation stall or even reverse. For now, she doesn't think there's a high likelihood that hikes will be merited. With that said, the possibility of a soft landing seems to be disappearing. According to CNN, although the economy is booming by many measures, including last month's blowout jobs report, small business owners aren't feeling gung-ho about it. By the way, there's a reason for that. The, the blowout jobs report was heavily reliant on two sectors, the healthcare sector and, wait for it, wait for it, government jobs. An index produced by the National Federation of Independent Business gauging how small business owners expect to fare in the future dropped to its lowest level since 2012 last month. Everybody is feeling it. And consumers are not confident in their ability to make on-time debt payments. Because again, the interest rates are so high that if you are getting behind on your bills, it is very difficult to repay all of that. All of this is very bad for Joe Biden. When you connect a staggering economy with a completely atrocious foreign policy and a president who is no longer with us, that is a bad indicator for a reelect effort. So Joe Biden had a particularly bad day yesterday. I don't know whether they didn't get him to bed the previous night. I don't know whether he stayed up too late watching Matlock. Whatever it was, Joe Biden was really not with us yesterday. He required note cards for pretty much everything. On his note cards, apparently it said, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, because he needs to be told to do literally everything. We saw this actually in his Univision interview last week when he required note cards to be interviewed. Typically, if you're interviewing someone, you might have note cards. If you're being interviewed, you typically aren't carrying around note cards. 
Uh, here he was doing like a meet and greet with the Japanese prime minister, and that dude needs his note cards. Well, Fumio, welcome back to the White House. Welcome back to the Oval Office. It's good to have you here. Good to see you again. And there he goes. When we were here last card. year, we said the role being played by the United States and Japan is, uh, is becoming even greater. Oh, good. And uh, we, uh, I, I couldn't agree more with your assertion back then. And uh, what we see in our joint you know support for Ukraine right in the face of Russia's vicious assault was, uh, is, is just outrageous. It's, it's like watching him read a foreign language, but it's English from a note card. I would, su- I would suggest that perhaps the Japanese prime minister speaks better English than Joe Biden at this point. Meanwhile, Joe Biden finished up this presser and uh, he just kind of randomly was smiling at the walls while the, uh, while the press were ushered out so they wouldn't ask him any questions. There he is, smiling at the wall again. What was that? It was like a weird face, like a weird Joker face. And then you get the weird smirk. It's Joaquin Phoenix in the new preview for Joker 2 happening there with the president of the United States. Again, yesterday was a bad day for him. He also suggested in, uh, in a speech that he needed to be reelected because he was in the 20th century. That one I can believe. Here we go. Elect me. I'm in the 20th, 20th century, 21st century. I mean, to be fair, he was born in the 16th century, apparently. So exciting stuff there from the president of the United States. Hey, so Democrats are left with a narrative. They don't have a great economy, as we'll talk about in a little bit. They got a real immigration problem on their hands. So they have to say basically that Republicans, as always, are the font of font head of all evil. They are the root of all sin. And so Joe Biden on the campaign trail yesterday, he suggested that Republicans want to kill millions of people by repealing Obamacare. This stuff has been tiresome since Democrats were running ads about Paul Ryan pushing little old ladies off cliffs in wheelchairs. But they're still playing this hit. Again, this is just going to be a play the hits campaign. It's the it's the rockin' oldies with Joe Biden over here. My predecessor and his MAGA friends want to, I love the phrase, the, the language they use, they want to terminate the Affordable Care Act. Terminate. Well, yeah. guess what? Killing millions of Americans, taking them off of health care insurance, and stripping others of services like home care. Folks, by the way, you know how many times they've tried to take out Obamacare, Affordable Health Care Act? 49 times. That's tried. very long word what he's saying right now. They can keep trying, but they're not going to get it done. So the longest word in the English language is pneumo ultra microscopic volcanoconiosis, and or whatever he just said just now which was all one long mashed potato word, Joe Biden. But he did suggest, of course, that Republicans are killing people en masse. I do love that he's very upset by the language of terminating Obamacare. What exactly would he say about abortion? Terminating a, like, what does he think that is? Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 